All right guys, here we are back on NR2003. Today we have another very exciting video for you. Starting our new Xfinity 2020 season mode here today on the NXS20 mod by Sim Racing Designs. So excited to get to bring this to you. I've been dying to do a new season mode on NR2003. Now before we get into it, I do have kind of a longer introduction today, just so I can explain kind of how I set this season mode up, and then down in the description there's going to be a ton of links and information so you can run an Xfinity 2020 season mode if you want to as well on NR2003. But I would appreciate if you do at least listen to the first little bit of this introduction, because I do have some very important information that I do want to share with you that relates to what car we're going to be driving. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to be driving the number 89 for Landon Castle here, uh, the blue emu entry. This is the only car I could find that was related to Shepard Racing Ventures um, on NXS20. It was actually painted by Lefty, Noah Sweet. I'm sure plenty of you probably know who that is. And the reason I wanted to drive this car is because I'm a big fan of Morgan Shepard. He's a really popular guy on this channel in general, and uh, I really admire his hard work to keep a car in NASCAR for so long. And if you don't know, he recently revealed on his website that he is suffering from Parkinson's disease. So I kind of wanted to pay tribute to him by driving a Shepard Racing Ventures car in this season mode. And I also wanted to share that um, kind of as we go through this season mode, when I get to the end and I upload the last video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at how much ad revenue each of these videos made. And I'm going to donate that amount to Shepard Racing Ventures so they can try and enter their car in the 2021 NASCAR Xfinity season. Now it's probably not going to be very much money, but at the end of the day, if maybe I can help those guys buy lunch once for their team, it would be uh, very nice to kind of support the cause right there. All right, let's talk a little bit about the cars that we're using for this season mode. Um, I, what I wanted to do is kind of make an amalgamation of different cars from different people just to kind of show support for the community and give some credit to these guys who are still working to make NR2003 a sim that is alive and well today. So we do need to thank SRD um, for this mod itself. We have a very big car set uh, that I will be linking in the description. All of these stuff will be linked in the description by Canadian Hits. Um, Daniel Lude 1975 is giving us the number 78, the number 74, the number 07, the 99, the 5, and the 47. We also have Harry Nurples giving us JJ Ailey's number 52, Sammy in a box for the number 15, the number 36, the 92, and the 90, and then R Web number 12 for the number 66. All of those cars will be featured in this season mode as our opponents. We have 36 active drivers against us, and I may sprinkle in a few uh, kind of cup bushwhackers every once in a while. We'll see as we go along. And then just to let you know, I did set up the driver ratings for the AI opponents with N ratings. Um, that is a program where you can import real life data into NR2003 to kind of adjust the driver ratings. Um, as I'm creating this video, N ratings is actually down at the moment. I'm not able to access it. So I can't give too much details about how I set this up because I did do it a while back. But yeah, we do have all the drivers with ratings based on their real life performances. So it should be a fairly realistic field. And then uh, just to let you know as well, I will be using the NR2K3 Weebly scoring system for this. So we're going to do all our races in single race mode. We're going to export the results into an external program. And once again, you're going to find links for everything I'm talking about down in the description below. So just go ahead and take a look if you need some assistance. Now with all of that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the first race. We're going to be driving at Daytona 2020 BBMC Day. It's going to be a 50 lap race length. Um, going throughout the season, I'm probably going to shoot for maybe 45 minute to an hour long races. I may edit them up a little bit. We'll kind of see what I decide to do based on how I think the content is. Um, we're usually going to aim for maybe trying to have one pit stop per race as well. I don't think there's going to be a pit stop in this race right here. But, uh, you know, I'm going to kind of adjust on the fly based on how it's going. But yeah, this is what we're going to do. 50 laps at the Daytona International Speedway. Yellow flags enabled, no double flags file restarts, uh, double file restarts being lapped cars on the inside in NR2003. We don't want that. Um, Weather is going to be realistic. Of course, no assists or anything. Uh, 36 AI opponents on 100 difficulty for Daytona. I will be adjusting that as well based on the track. So with all of that being said, I'll see you guys in the race.
All right, guys, it is race time here, starting the Xfinity 2020 season mode at Daytona. I did forget to mention that we will be following the original Xfinity 2020 schedule, so not the coronavirus impacted schedule, but what they originally had planned. And I will also let you know that you will be able to choose how you watch this video. You can either watch the full unedited recording here, or if you go down in the description, I will be putting some timestamps if you want to kind of fast forward through the video and check out the highlights. I will be adding that in there as well. So there may be some times during this where I'm not talking the entire time but uh, 50 laps is quite a ways we're gonna be patient today because as you know um, if we crash we're out in season mode no uh, restarts or anything like that so let's see what we can do as we get our season underway here starting in the back of the pack with Vinnie Miller and I chose not to qualify for this race just because you know we have plenty of time to work through the field at Daytona it's likely we won't need a pit stop in this race um, just because I didn't want to have this race be too long. 50 laps is plenty for me at the Daytona International Speedway. But we're going to take it nice and easy here and just kind of tuck in at the bottom and see where things go. Already on the inside of Chad Finchum as we head down the back here. And uh, of course Daytona is kind of a crapshoot, much like all super speedways, but... We can get that uh, win out of the way very early in the season. It would be nice because we will be using the 2020 point standing. So it's got the playoffs and everything. I'm not even sure how it works off the top of my head. But I know if we win, we're in good shape. So that's what we're going to be looking for. And uh, we also got to make sure we don't drop off the pack at all here. So just going to make sure to shove these guys up here. Don't want to lose the pack and end up being a lap car that ruins everything. Looks like they're getting pretty uh, nicely behaved two by two up there ahead. I'm just going to keep on pushing Vinny. Let's try and make our way up there as much as possible. That outside lane's still rolling good on us down the straight, even when I'm right against Vinny Miller's back bumper, which is very interesting to see. And we got to make sure we don't drop off here, so I'm going to pass you, Vinny, if I have to. Looks like we should be okay. It's interesting, you know, with the season mode, it's likely that we're going to have some uh, rivalries with some of these AI drivers before too long. We already got JJ Yaley in the field up there, but he uh, he ended my sim racing career with one move a while back. But uh, yeah, you know, some of these guys in the back, especially if I don't qualify for these races, might get used to running with Vinny Miller. Try and give him a good push down the back straight here. We're already up a couple spots, which is good. Alright, Vinny, it's not working out. Friendship ended. Not running the yellow line. I'm out of there. It looks like they're three wide up in the front. Some people running that extreme outside near the wall. My setup is the default fast setup. Um, I just made a slight steering ratio change. And it feels pretty good. I don't think I could run the high line too well. I'm just gonna just gonna look to stay on the bottom and uh, be patient with it. Clear outside. They are in a couple people here. Looks like everybody's still with the pack, which is good. I don't want anybody to drop off in an ideal world. Then we won't have any lap car nonsense. Tuck in behind Matt Mills here. He's going to go high, so we'll just keep it on the bottom. I will let you know I'm going to do my best with remembering everybody's name. Um, I'm going to make mistakes here or there. I'm not perfect with the Xfinity 2020 roster. And I will say that all these cars, it's kind of a mismatch of uh, what paint scheme, like what race they ran it in. I just wanted to get as many drivers as possible in this race. So, uh... We have some people running their Daytona schemes, some people running their Indianapolis road course schemes. But, uh, <laughs> you know, hey, we got 37 drivers in this race. That's pretty good. Able to clear ourselves as Bailey Curry drops in behind us. By Snyder in front of us, we're going to get right in here. I've been able to hold the gas down pretty much the entire time, which is good. If I say that, we get a little checkup. A little checkup going off into three. I gotta keep my eye out for that. That really killed the inside lane, though. 
My head said I've had enough. I'm going back to the high side. Alright, finished up five laps. Pretty happy with how things are going. Able to pick up a couple spots and just being really, really patient with everything. No need to press at all here. Doesn't look like that outside lane worked out for Maya as he wasn't able to suck up to the back of Caesar Baccarella. We lost quite a bit of ground. Get in behind Ray Black Jr. here. And just be super chill with it. And this setup is good. It's very, uh, very easy to drive. A little bit skatey on entry, but otherwise I'm quite happy with it. Getting single file behind me. Looks like Vinny Miller might be dropping off the pack a bit. Just concerning. No lap cars, please. Anything but the NR2003 lap day. I. I'm just looking for checkups on the inside. Let's just double check our fuel. Yeah, 61 laps projected, only 44 to go. So they're checking up again on the inside. So we should be good with no pit stop here. Um, I think that's better for super speedway races if you can go without a pit stop because it kind of breaks it up weirdly on NR 2003. That might be a bit more realistic, but it's more fun to have pack racing the entire time, I think. And it uh, looks like the ratings we've got set up here are pretty good. You know, we have a couple people that would be dropping off, which is realistic. And we have a nice tight pack right here. Joe Graff already 1.4 behind us. He's in the danger zone. Drive right up behind Jeff Green here on the inside. Yeah, got ourselves in the top 30. They're three wide ahead. Looking out for those, uh, those crashes, man. Don't want to get in one here because there's almost no way to recover. Even if you do get a yellow, you're going to be off the pace when it comes back to Still green. There. Still there. Still there. Yellow line hugging simulator for real right now. I do not want to try the outside. I just don't be see myself with this setup being able to make a run out there. The AI is doing all right though, especially when this inside lane gets stacked up like this. That outside starts rolling really good. So it's not quite as bad of a murder as it is on uh, you know the default papyrus tracks. That's for sure. The outside, it's terrible. It's like we're up in 30th position. I always thought it's weird how the, uh, the standings like on super speedways, they take a moment to update properly. And now uh, we got a big three wide pack right here. Oh my goodness. We're going to be able to drive right up to the back of Jesse Little with good momentum. I'm able to just hold my foot down. No need to check up. See that big suck down the back. Big run, but nowhere to go with it. So I'm going to lift going off into three. There's still three wide for the lead. Keep low. Coming through here, 10 laps through. Uh, just all been smooth sailing so far, taking it really easy. Super patient on the bottom lane. And uh, the AI definitely not taking an easy three wide for the lead ahead. That outside lane, the extreme outside, has a lot of cars in it. Like maybe 15 or 20. And that middle has about three. And they're still hanging. This inside's starting to get a bit uh, disorganized, which is bad. I'm looking for checkups. I don't want to plow into the back of anybody, especially in these corners. I've said the setup is good, but can could get very upset at 180. 
Especially when you're this tight. Stay low. Gonna keep on hugging that yellow line all day long. Get up to the back bumper of Jesse Little. That outside line stacked up quite a bit. We're able to push this inside lane along pretty good. Oh, looks like I shoved a couple into the middle right there. Oh, big, big stack up. Lost about seven miles an hour right there lifting. And um, that outside lane really got a big run. Maybe I could have just dragged the brake a little bit, but I didn't know how much speed we were going to lose, so I actually lifted all the way off the throttle. I killed our momentum. So ideally, you want to just drag the brake, I think. That way you keep your, uh, keep your throttle wide open the entire time. A couple people from the middle getting down into the bottom lane, so we're losing a couple positions here. Still right up behind Little. We're actually going to fade to the inside and get to his inside, I think. So we will. Jesse Little hold me up a bit. Inside lane stacking up and we're now behind our old friend JJ Ailey. We're now in a three wide position. I'm just going to hug the yellow as much as I can. Confident with the setup that I can keep it right on the bottom. A Black Jr. behind us giving us some help right here. Just don't really have anywhere to go with three wide uh, stacked up like this. Oh, big checkup. Upset my car. I lifted off the gas again. Couldn't, uh, couldn't get it slowed down in time. I wiggled big time and we lost a ton of momentum. Wondering what's happening with those checkups. Maybe, uh, you know, somebody from the middle lane is coming down into the bottom and killing the momentum. We got two guys pretty far ahead up there in the, uh, in the lead of the race. They pulled out a bit of a gap, which means we should close up a lot on them. You see the lanes are going fast now. They got draft partners ahead. When we catch these guys, we'll have to look for a checkup though, because they're going to lose a lot of momentum Still being there. that far ahead at a plate track. Doesn't look like we got too bad of a checkup though. I'm starting to notice I'm not. Yeah, there's the checkup. Gotta say, I'm starting to notice it's kind of hard for me to close that gap to the car ahead. Especially if I'm not able to keep my momentum up with the checking up here or there. We'll just have to keep an eye on that. And it looks like uh, we've had a couple people, Joe Graff and Vinnie Miller, drop off the pack together. We'll be seeing them sooner or later as lap cars. I was hoping everybody would keep up, but not quite. Which is very concerning. We have about uh, 35 cars all packed up right here. I'm leaving a lot of space ahead of me. JJ Ailey probably not too happy about that, but I'm driving a very passive race up to this point. Which might allow Justin Haley to get down in front of me, which is he's, he's going to do as we're checking up. So I'm going to check up big. That's all right. No harm, no foul. We stay alive in this race. You know, one thing I find interesting with this mod, I do really appreciate the rear view mirror. It's got such a great view, but I kind of got to get used to it. It looks like Ray Black is in my back bumper. He's right up on me. So I might uh, have some trouble clearing myself in this, uh, you know, kind of wondering where these guys are, when they're going to get to my bumper. 
So I bet once in this season mode, I'm going to hook myself on somebody thinking I'm clear because I'm not used to the rear view mirror. Inside lane rolling really good as it is chaos above us. We're going to gain quite a few spots here, probably make our way into the top 20. And three wide for a while. Austin Hill on our near outside. And they're stacking up quite a bit. A lot of disorganization above us. They're not bumper to bumper. Again, I'm just not able to close that gap to the car ahead as much as I really would be, but I think it's benefiting me because I'm giving myself a little more time to check up. Another big checkup. We've gained a lot of spots because that outside lane is in shambles. Tucked in behind Justin Haley. The Justin's on the charge through the field. And we are going to be in the top 10 very soon at this rate. Outside lane absolutely tanking. This inside lane's got a rocket behind it. Just like that, we are in fact in 10th position, so... Went from uh, the 20s to the 10s. Still there. Keep low. My gosh, hopefully you guys didn't hear that. I don't know if I toggled mute and now I'm going to be mute for the rest of this. That used to be my old mute key. We'll see if uh, that still works. Little cough there. I need the water bottle. My water bottle's not working in the car. <laughs> Alright, so there's the conclusion of lap 20. Up into 7th position. Just been really patient, leaving a little gap ahead. Looking out for checkups. And we have made our way into the top 10. The inside lane's rolling really good. We're right up behind Justin Haley. He's getting tight out there with JJ Haley. Give Haley a really good punch down here, down the back straight. As fast as we can get him going. I don't know the situation ahead of him. I don't want to push a pusher, but... Looks like we may end up in the top five before this lap is said and done. Just making sure my fuel is good. It'll be plenty good. Hook it right around the bottom right here. You're on the bottom, three wide. Hold your line. No, uh, racing at super speedways got me thinking, you know, I made a, a community post today and somebody asked me, if they did an NR 2003 remastered, what would I most want to see in that? You know, what changes would I want to see? And I definitely think like having the option for modern rules would be a lot of fun. So like, you know, green, white checkers, um, you know, stage racing, if that's your thing. Just the double file restarts, you know, lap cars in the back. Just all that sort of stuff I think would be really fun. And cautions freezing the field rather than having to race back. Of course, that wasn't implemented too long after the release of this game. And, uh, you know, I'm talking quite a bit, but all of a sudden we are up into third position. I have followed Justin Haley all the way to the front of the field. Inside lane's working really good, but I need Haley on the bottom. You're on the bottom three wide. I don't know if my car is good enough to run without somebody in front of me. You see how much momentum I'm losing right here. We're dropping back bad with nobody in front of me. Austin Hill pushing the best he can, but... Don't know if I'm the car to be in the front of the pack with. You have to start looking out for those lap cars. 18.9 up the road now. They will play a factor before all is said and done. It's 
still right in behind Justin Haley. It's not really running the yellow as much as I would like in these corners. So it would help me uh, push him off if he was right down on that yellow line. I don't want to let anybody to my inside, but I want to get that draft. Kind of making my own lane right there. We're going to look to try and get to the inside. Get on your horse, baby. We're three wide for the lead. Here comes the leader. Stay low. And we're just going to nose our way out in the first place here. Clear, outside. Clear them all, but they're going to probably come back at me as I'm only doing 179 on the straights. I think we just about led that lap, though. Yes, sir. So that's a nice, uh, I believe that's a bonus point. I'm not 100% sure how it works in Xfinity. See how long we can hang on to it. Like I said, this car is not good without a car in front of it. I'm only doing 178 right now in front of the field. These guys on the outside are starting to run back at me. I don't know if they'll be able to clear me though. Definitely able to draw alongside, no problem though. It's still gonna be three wide right here. This time Justin Haley's gonna lead. I have to start looking out for those lap cars. They're gonna start appearing on the horizon as we hit the halfway point in the lead here on the bottom, but um. Not the fastest car without a car blocking that wind ahead of me. Still there. Clear outside. You do clear them all though, but there is a big line of cars on the outside. They're gonna get back to me. The next car is the leader. Haley already back ahead of me. Still there. I'll make sure we keep it right on the yellow line. Say that. I hit the apron. I slip up a lane. Thank goodness we weren't three wide at that moment. That was really bad on my part. Spotter calls halfway right there. I don't think anybody else is going to be dropping off the pack with me leading the field. I'm not putting up a blistery place. But uh, the outside's not quite strong enough to get around me right now. We'll see. I mean, you see uh, Justin Haley creeping up out there. It's just not got enough to get clear of me. I think if they get two, if they get uh, double file without the cars in the middle like that, I think I will get past. I think it's just uh, the fact that they're on the extreme outside and they got that middle lane kind of messing with them like right now You're back in the lead. Chastain's looking to get to the inside somebody gets in that middle lane and it's two by two I think I'm gonna get past Stay low. and do the best we can to be smooth down here still a long way to go I see those lap cars way out there entering turn three side by side that is a scary sight to say the least but uh, I'm in the right spot to be approaching them. We're gonna get cleared by Justin Haley. He got a really good run on the outside. Not quite gonna come down in front of me, but that does prove that they can clear me. I'm in the front, so it's not gonna be easy street out here. And Austin Hill's looking to abandon me. I'm gonna end up on my own on the inside. Not quite, he does come back, but I just lost out big right there. I was full throttle the whole way. It's concerning stuff to see how easily I could get past. The next car is the leader. These guys got way too far out ahead. Killed Justin Haley's run. But I just need somebody in front of me to get any sort of run going. The next car is the leader. Keep low. Focusing on keeping it on the yellow. Chastain's got no help. We're going to slip to the inside. Going to be three wide down the front straight. Everybody's going to the outside. Nobody with me on the yellow. And I have no help right now. And I'm going to lose a lot of momentum. It's finally, my Snyder comes in behind. 
Austin Hill abandons me to the outside. These leaders got a bit of a big gap again there as I was dropping back, so I'm able to get a good run back at them. Try and get the draft here. Chastain's gonna go high. Nobody likes me. If we can't get to the inside again on Chastain, he's gonna pinch down, but I got a good run. So they kind of got separated from the drafting help right there. And that is a very scary side ahead there in the trioval. Two lap cars side by side. We finish lap 30 now on the point. That was weird. Me and my spotter said the exact same thing. It's almost like the way I talk about NASCAR was influenced by this game. But yeah, we're doing our best to hold up the field here in first place. They're able to get past me on the outside when they want. Chastain's gonna clear me again right here. These lap cars looming large in my front windshield. And look at that run. I just got absolutely toasted. Justin Haley and Chastain hook up again to pass me. Come on down, boys. I want to be behind somebody. Clear. Not quite. We get clear, but I do not want to give up this inside. I'll drive with no drafting help as long as I'm on the inside. Clear Finally, they do get down. But look at that gap. Two tenths. Hopefully, these guys don't just drive away on their own. I think it's because they got a bit of drafting help by these lappers, but this is going to get interesting. I'm ready to check up big. Checking up, checking up. Oh no. This is not good. I got nowhere to go. Outside. Gonna get in behind Justin Haley. Hopefully Chastain's passing him. Yes, they're gonna go high. So we're in a good slot here. Third on the inside. I was gonna kill that outside lane though. They're gonna be dropping back a lot. So it's gonna be single file smooth sailing here at the front. It's starting to get down to crunch time now. Only 18 to go here at the line. I'm really happy with the drive so far. Car feels great. Been really patient. Just kind of let things come to me. That Haley and Chastain combo has been really, really tough. I feel like they can get around me even if I am able to make a pass. Right, Sieg to the inside. I'm going to come up high here with the help of Snyder. Get some draft on the back straight because I know they're disorganized behind me. Really good for me. Single files, what I like to see. Snyder's going with me, which is nice of him. That Haley and Chastain combo is looking really tough. Not able to close up enough right now. He's gonna go to the inside. Sorry, Myatt. It's a good run while it lasted. I got a great run going off into one. Now I have nobody behind me or in front of me. I'm about to get steamrolled on the back straight. This was a mistake. Come on up here, Josh Balicki. You see, I lose so much time and momentum. Chastain's all on his own with no help. Hopefully Haley can't get back up there. And we got Josh Balicki of all people giving me a shove here down the front straight. Haley's able to clear me again. Haley now looking to the inside of Chastain, so maybe that'll break up that partnership a little bit. They've just been so tough. Balicki with a good shot of momentum for me. Trying to get the draft from Justin Haley. It's going to be 15 to go when we come back around. Not even sure what the move is. I just think I'm going to have to hope that I have enough momentum when the time comes. Clear outside. Able to clear everybody and get single file again. Chastain, Haley, Wells, Balicki. What a crew. I think at a certain point I'm going to have to stop uh, stop kind of checking up and start just slamming people. 
as I'm losing way too much momentum when I check up. I don't quite have the car to uh, get away with the checkups. It's, it's hurt my momentum too much. You see right there, checked up a little bit and Haley's going to pull away a bit on the straightaway. Balicki goes high. He's got no help. I leave him out there. Justin Haley to the inside. I'm not going to lift this time. The next car is the leader. Outside. If Haley a good push on the front straight. Should be able to get him clear. The Justins are going all the way to the point. The next car is the leader. We got AJ Allmendinger with a huge run behind. It's going to give me a good push of momentum. I might be able to get to the inside. And I do. Do we have enough left? Come on, AJ. He's got really good runs off the corner. Haley's starting to catch up, but Almendinger's my friend at the moment. Really would be nice to not have to worry about the playoffs after day one. We're all clear, but Haley and Chastain are together again on the outside. It's concerning stuff. I just don't think I'm able to run with them. Just did win the race there to the start-finish line, but... AJ Allmendinger's probably the best pusher I've had behind me yet. He's right up on my back bumper. Just really helping me. My question is, with 13 to go, will the lap cars play a factor again? Looks like Bailey Curry has dropped off, but the lapped cars that were off the field have kind of made it into the pack and are okay. So we might have to deal with one lap car before this is over. It's going to be close. Clear outside. Outside. Able to clear again, and here comes all AJ Allmendinger with a good push for me. Good stuff. Haley's going to win the drag race to the line, though. So we're leading a few laps here, but uh, Chastain and Haley are so, so good together. Look at how far Justin Haley got clear of me. Be as smooth as possible in the turns. I just got nothing on the straights. Not without another car ahead. Come on, AJ. See another car on the inside. I'd like to push me Chase Briscoe if he can get up here. Got a good three car group here on the bottom. Justin Haley very far ahead on the outside. I don't know if I have enough to get up there. AJ's done well for me, but we gotta go with Chase Briscoe on the bottom. He's got a really good run. Staying to the inside now, Justin Haley. We got a great shot of momentum. Haley's absolutely dead in the water at the moment. Chase Briscoe with a great push. Do we have enough to get all the way back to the lead? Come on, Chase. It's a great push. Gregson behind as well. We're going to get there. We're going to go back to the lead. Here at Daytona. Don't hit the apron. Uh, we actually shot our way clear right there. An absolutely massive run. Here we are, 10 laps to go, still in the lead. On the inside. Just gonna hope that we got the right pushers behind us when the time comes. Inside lane's looking really strong at the moment with the cars we got up here. Chastain getting pushed clear by Haley and Almendinger. We saw how good Almendinger was at pushing. But they got a very good trio out there as well. Chastain's so far clear though. And the AI's driving it tough, man. They do not like get down to the yellow when they get clear, so I'm not able to get a good draft. Holds down on the front straight, but I'm already dead. No momentum. This is good though, Haley to the inside. The next car's 
Should be able to follow Haley through and then maybe get Haley on the back here. Chase Briscoe is a little bit off my back bumper, but I'm able to get a good run from Justin Haley. I send it three wide at the bottom. We're going to be three wide going into turn three right now. Didn't. I kind of hesitated because I wasn't sure about making that move. It was a bit risky. But I'm trying to break up Haley and Chastain if I can. Not let them get uh, nose to tail. Yeah, we're three wide right now, so Haley and Chastain will not be able to work together anymore. Got Chase Briscoe pushing. I think Chastain's ruined. He's on the extreme outside. Yes, he's in the sucker hole, which is now on the outside. Come on, Chase. Chastain's not going to be happy, but we did what we had to do. No, it's Chastain. On the extreme outside, still hanging with us. Surely not. By himself? Who's helping him out there? I can see him in the rear view. view. I'm driving with my eyes in the top right corner of my screen. Probably should focus on the road just a little bit. Yeah, this is going to be tough. It's going to be a drag race, I think, in the end. That outside lane's a little bit disorganized now. It being three wide, we're able to get pretty far clear now, which is a good look. Chastain and Haley still even, grinning to see that I broke them up. We're now well clear of that outside lane, absolutely dead in the water. Chastain's trying to do all he can on his own in the outside lane. And we have severely limited our challengers now. It's six to go. He's trying to look for Chase Briscoe. He's going to look to the inside. We're going to seal it off. Definitely not blocking. Just a defensive move. I get one move. <laughs> it's a good way to get turned doing stuff like that. Question is, will that outside get back up here again? See Justin Haley out there leading the way. They be able to get back up here. I'm not sure. Looking for Chase Briscoe possibly to move to the outside as well. That would really hurt me. It's going to be five to go at the line now. Just five more to go. I see Bailey Curry popping in uh, 24 seconds up the road, but shouldn't be a factor before this one's done. Like it's Justin Haley with AJ Allmendinger. We saw how good of a pusher Allmendinger is. Kind of did hang Allmendinger out to dry earlier, so I'm a little bit concerned. That outside lane starts to creep up. Not close enough yet, though. Risco looking at the outside. He's going to stay with me. Four to go. That outside lane's inching ever closer. Don't know if I should go up and block. Oh, Chase is going to go out there. This is not good for me. Hopefully him moving up in the turn is going to kill that lane, but I now have a gap behind me. Oh, they got a great run out there. They got a really good run. Chase is now on my outside. Stay low. I have to hope it's Noah Gregson now. Keep low. Chase Briscoe made a great move for his chances to win this race. Got Keep lots low. of strong cars right behind him. He's going to actually lead this lap. He's going to destroy me with that push. Unbelievable as we get three to go. Going to need some magic now. Look at how far clear they got together. Justin Haley has pushed everybody to the lead. Stay low. 
I can't get off the bottom. I'm too wide. I'm in big trouble now. Come on, baby. Just give me a little more speed. Still there. Oh, man. That outside lane is rolling so good. They got f three cars, almost four clear of me. I just can't do a thing. Almondinger to the inside. It's gonna have to hope I get my momentum wound back up in two laps time. Just two to go. I don't know if I have it. Still there. Clear. Got it pinned, Call but it's back. just not doing enough for me. Still there. I got a decent run here, trying to be really smooth on the Stay wheel, on. keep up whatever run we have. This goes pretty far ahead. I don't know if I should push Almendinger. Go for it on my own. I'll look to the inside three wide. Forget AJ Almendinger. I'm trying to win it for myself. Haley and Briscoe. Such a strong tandem. Well, Gregson right up my back bumpers. We come to get the white flag. It's going to need to be a really, really good last lap for me. Like, really, really good. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think we have it in us. Gonna need to be the perfect back straight in three and four. We're all clear. I'm gonna move up and get the draft here. I'm gonna need the run of the century. I don't think I have it. I'm doing 184. Probably the fastest I've done the whole race, 185. I'm going to come with some momentum. AJ Allmendinger is going to look to the inside. It's going to kill Justin Haley. I have nowhere to go with this run. I'm going to shove AJ Allmendinger. Oh, man. If he wasn't there, I might have been able to get there. But it looks like it's going to be Chase Briscoe, Allmendinger, Haley, and then myself in the fourth position. That was a really good race. Disappointing that uh, AJ came across right there and I had to give him a good shot. But I didn't really fancy going below the yellow because that might have ended in tears. But hope you guys enjoyed that race starting our NASCAR Xfinity Series 2020 season mode. I do want to say I appreciate you so much for watching. Again, go down to the description of this video. There's going to be tons of information down there about how you can set up a 2020 Xfinity season mode for yourself. And I just want to say, if you want to keep up with this series, please consider subscribing for me. Do remember that we are donating the proceeds of this season mode, so all the ad revenue to the Morgan Shepherd Racing Ventures uh, Foundation, kind of their race team is actually what I'm going to be donating it to. So if you guys do want to uh, kind of keep up with this series, it would be much appreciated. So that's the end of our first race. I'll see you guys in the next race.